welcome back. I have a haul for you. Okay, so, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I filmed a haul last week. I get it. There's a problem going on. Like, once this starts, it's an issue. You guys know that. It's, it started, I opened up Pandora's box with the haul, and now I saw more stuff that I wanted and needed and needed. So, I have a whole bunch of products to show you guys, and I know you guys love hauls, so let me just jump into it. Yeah, let me start with this. This bad boy, okay. All right, you guys know I did not like the Lorac One Pro Palettes, and I actually gave that to a friend of mine, Jordy. So, um, yeah, I saw too many good reviews on this bad boy to not give it a chance, so I decided to go out and get it and give it a shot, and I'm really, really happy I did because I really like it. Yeah, okay, so you guys have seen the packaging. Obviously, this is the box. It comes with the behind the scenes. It comes with a behind the scenes eyelid primer, which is strange because the first one I got was really, really hard. So this one was really soft and nice. So I'm glad I gave that a second shot. And this is the Lorac 2 Pro Palette. Well, the, La the Lorac. The Lorac Pro Palette 2. All the shades are here. I actually just did a review on it. I did a first impression and tutorial. So if you guys are interested in this look, I will put that video in the description bar. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm glad I gave it a shot. I'm glad all you ladies here on YouTube convinced me to go buy this little puppy. Especially for $42 is so much cheaper than the Urban Decay palettes, you know, that are normally $49 or $52. Not to mention, I had a $3 off coupon with my Ulta rewards, so I actually really only paid $39 for this puppy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna jump right into Sephora. You know, I don't have like a huge amount of stuff to show you guys, but I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what I got. This is really, really cool. I have been building up my points at Sephora for a hot minute, and they were like, really? Are you gonna use some points already? I'm like, Alright, I need some points already. So this is a really cool 500 point perk. This is the Makeup Forever um, ac Backstage Access. Oh, I got an itch right here. Don't you hate that? Oh, I hate that ish. It's got a whole bunch of samples. Let's open this up. Like, what am I even messing with this? Back of the panel business. Come on, you guys. You know, you know I do better than that. Alright, Backstage Access. So I got this little thing. All right, this is kind of like ham, legit. I hate these things. This is an eyeshadow sample. I got a bunch of these at Sigma from uh, iMats, which I hate this crap, really. I just throw it out. This is like, this is not enough eyeshadow to do a look. I, I, I don't know, I don't know what these guys are thinking, but there's an eyeshadow sample. <laughs> Waste the money, okay. I got this as a Makeup Forever um, Sense Device Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover, which I actually have the full size of this and I really, really like it. That's I use that when I use mascara like my Dior Show mascara that doesn't come off or anything. I use that waterproof eye makeup remover, whatever. Okay. So what else is in here? So we've got two pencils. They're little. <laughs> They're really little. Okay. This one is a... Uh, crayon pencil waterproof and this is black let me open this if opening this ruins my nail polish i'm gonna get mad it's pretty black pretty black what, what's with these short little stubbies um this is an aqua eyes pencil in 21 l which is a really pretty silver okay that's nice seriously these pencils are minuscule though like but that's all right that's all right it was free technically this is a, what a bizarre mascara sample. This is really strange. This is a Smoky Extravagant Mascara Impact Theatrical blah blah blah. I'm not going to open this because seriously it looks like a one use bad boy, which I don't know that it's one use. I'm sure you could use it multiple times, but it doesn't look like it seals, but you snap it this way. It showed it right here. So it looks like a little mascara sample. And then a small smoky lash. I hope this brush is the old smoky lash. I'm going to open it. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. They have it back. Oh. Makeup Forever Smoky Lash Mascara is my favorite and I swear to you I haven't been able to find it in forever because all they have is that stupid 
stupid brush, the one that's like angled, and I hate that brush. I am so happy. Honestly, the 500 points alone was worth this mascara because I love this mascara, and I don't know if they just changed it or the store by me just doesn't carry it anymore, but I am just beyond excited to see this mascara in there, and it's like the one that I like. When I was in Sephora, I had a product. A product sitting in my collection that, that was worth $42 and I had no receipts, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to just bring it back and see if I can exchange it for a store credit, and they allowed me to, so I brought it back and I had a $42 store credit. So what did I get with that? You're wondering right now what I got with the $42 store credit, aren't you? I know, look at Harley. Harley! Harley! He's always stealing the show. Stop showing everybody your hiney. Ugh, he's so perverted. Anyway, with my $42 credit, I decided to get a little Dior. I would never spend $42 on a blush, honestly. $29 is my limit. $42 for blushes is a big hell no for me. But since I had a store credit, I decided it's essentially free, right? Essentially free, because what I returned was a gift. Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, so it comes in this lovely pouch and it has this really pretty sleek packaging. Okay, it's got a cover and a cute little blush brush, which who uses that? And I got this blush. Look at how pretty it is. Oh my gosh. Look at this blush. Look at the color. Look at the color. I know I don't have autofocus. I don't even know why I'm like going all up in your business, but I don't even want to swatch it. No, I do. I want to swatch it for you guys. I'll swatch it below the Dior. Oh hell. Let's just ruin it. All right, so it's that beautiful pink. Oh, it looks so pretty. I feel like I don't have any pink blushes that look quite like this, so I decided to get it for $42. <laughs> um, I actually really like it. It's super pretty, and I'm excited to use it. It looks like a really great summer color, and you know what? I could probably use some blush right now. I'm going to put some on right now. Let's not go crazy, but let's add a little. I like it. All right, what do you guys think? Do you guys like it? I think it goes nice with this look. Okay, this other thing that I got at Sephora was this. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, but I decided to get the oil-free kind because I'm always struggling with a little bit of shininess in my T-zone, so I figured, why not try it? Why isn't there, like, a protectant right there? Oh, there's a little hole in there, that's why. They used to not do that. They used to put the little tabs on top, but now there's like a little dot in there that plugs up the hole. Okay, whatever. So it's a little thicker. Let me do a quick comparison for you guys. This is my regular tinted moisturizer in porcelain. And this is the new oil-free one that I just bought. And here is the regular kind. So it's very light and it's it goes right into the skin. This. The oil-free kind looks a little lighter, actually, which would work for me because the, the other one was slightly too dark, and it actually looks like the coverage is a little fuller. You guys aren't going to be able to see it here on my arm, but take my word for it. It's a little lighter, and it's a little bit more fuller coverage. So that's actually a bonus, and it's not going to make me look as like oily because there's no oil in it. <laughs> I left Sephora, and um, oh, oh, I forgot to tell you guys my snob story. Okay, so I have a quick story to tell you guys about this. I went into Ulta looking to swatch the Lorac 2 palette, and I didn't see any of them open anywhere. I just saw the display that's got the glass or that plastic box over it. So I go up to the little rack um, counter and they don't have a two palette out. Like they just have a one. It's really strange, but they have like a whole mess of them. I go up to the girl and I'm like, it's a new palette. Like, don't you guys have something to sample? She's like, well, uh, you know, like she's kind of just like an idiot about it. And I was just like, it's a brand new palette. It came out very, very recent. You guys should have something out to swatch. And I saw that some people must have opened up the box, you know, the, the plastic box, and totally swatched the heck out of the one in the display. So I was just like, can I just go in there and, and swatch it? And she's like, well, what do you want to do, use it? No, I don't want to use it. I'm going to sit here and, and, and put on my eyeshadow. No, I just want to swatch it. She's such a jerk about it. So I just lifted up the box and started swatching it in the store. And, you know, she was giving me the stink eye. And I don't think my friend works there anymore. So 
you know, it kind of stinks. I don't know anybody that works there. So I just, whatever, I swatched a few and then I left. I just bought it and I'm, I'm really glad I bought it. But the girls at Ulta's attitude really sucked. And you know what, lately they've really been sucking. You know, since I haven't been seeing my friend there, I don't know what it is, but Prestige Cosmetics attitude has really gone downhill and they like need to check themselves before they wreck themselves. Just saying. Okay, so I made my rounds after Sephora and I went over to MAC. Yeah, I went over to MAC. This, woo doo doo, this is kind of sexy. Can I tell you that I just bought it? I didn't even look at it. Well, I think I looked at it. Someone else I had swatched it or something and I saw it briefly, but I, I didn't really look at it. So I just bought it knowing that like I can trust my friend. So there it is. Oh, that's pretty. It's like this taupe, I'm like, hey, I'm like trying to find the right lighting to see it. Um, that's really pretty. All right, let me swatch that. Wow, that's a really pretty color. And, 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 <laughs> last week I was on the hunt for Sushi Kiss and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I got an attitude from everybody and their mother about how it's been sold out and you can't find it anywhere. But miraculously, I had told the girl, I was like, yeah, I can't find Sushi Kiss. She's like, yeah, we got a ton of them in. I'm like, really? So I picked up Sushi Kiss. So here we are, really, really a beautiful orange. Yes, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to have this. Um, I got Sweet and Sour last week. I got Sushi Kiss this week. So Tori, I finally got it. Yeah, girl. I saw this one on my friend's Instagram, my friend Cornelia. I don't know why I've never swatched this lipstick. I don't, I, I don't know. Do you see this red? Oh my goodness. This color. Oh, oh my gosh. This is, yeah, uh-huh. But what? I, I might actually put this on for my next video. That's how gorgeous. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed few items of clothing from a company called Mart of China and I wanted to show you guys the two things that I got because I thought they were really cute and I wanted to let you guys know about it. So here's the dress. This is so, this dress is so frigging cute. Look at it. All right. So if the top of it is denim and it's got, it's a sleeveless denim with a, a couple but black buttons and it's got a collar, it's got a tie belt and then it's got this really cute chiffon floral pattern. I love it so much. Okay, the second thing that I got from the website was this and this, you guys know I love see-through chiffon. I'm like a child of the 90s. I'm obsessed. Okay, so I got this and it's a blue collared shirt and it's, hello, see-through. Okay, you guys know I love my see-through shirts and it looks so cute. Actually, I can put it on right now for you guys so you can see what it looks like. It actually goes really well with this. So it looks like that. How cute is that shirt? I mean, how cute is that shirt? It's got pockets here and it's like really loose and flattering and cute and you can like button it here or you can like button it all the way up and it looks so friggin' cute. It looks so friggin' cute. One thing I really, really like about this shirt is it's really, look at how long it is. Like, it is so friggin' long and it actually goes past my butt. So if you're really super daring, you can just wear like a bra and like short shorts underneath it or you can wear like a little tight, tank body dress or you it's so versatile i love this dress well i love this shirt so much because you can just fake it and make it kind of like a sexy dress or like a coverall i don't know i just i thought it was so adorable when i saw it and i was like i needed to to get it and it just it's so cute both of these items will be listed below as well as the general website to Mart of China. So if you guys are interested in either one of these two pieces, just click below and they are in the description bar. I don't get anything if you guys click below. It's just simply for convenience. Just click and you're there. Okay guys, that is my haul. I think I have showed you guys everything. Well, if you guys enjoyed this haul, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.